everyone welcome to kvision engineering youtube channel so uh yeah after a long time i going to upload a new video sorry because uh these few days i have i i, I moved to another country for my new job so these days i was so busy so that's why i cannot upload any video so right no problem now from onwards i will upload two videos every month so if you are already my subscriber uh, i'm really really sorry for past few months and if you're a new viewer don't uh, no, no need to worry you can watch my previous videos uh, actually, in this uh, channel, you can learn about AT adapters and aircraft maintenance, special aircraft maintenance. So uh, today, I'm going to teach you about aircraft maintenance, uh, AT chapter 27, flight controls, section number two, uh, pitch. Uh, so under pitch, uh, the first lesson is uh, uh, pitch control normal operation and uh, pitch control abnormal operation. All right. So, um, and also, uh, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe to KVision Engineering YouTube channel. And don't forget to share these videos. Don't forget to like. All right. Okay. So, let's go to the video. All right, so this is AT Chapter 27, Flight Control, Section Number 2, Pitch, uh, under Pitch Section, uh, Lesson Number 1, Pitch Control, Normal Operations and Abnormal Operation. All right, so uh, the content is uh, number 1, uh, Pitch Control, Normal Operation. Under uh, Pitch Control, Normal Operation, you can see now 1.1, Side Stakes, and number 2, uh, 1.2, ELAC, number 1.3, SEC, 1.4, FFGC, number 1.5, uh, Elevators, uh, 1.6, THS, and number 7, Trick Wheels. We'll discuss about these uh, topics. And number 2, Pitch Control Abnormal Operation. Pitch Control and Abnormal Operation. Under Pitch Control Abnormal Operations, we're going to talk about 2.1, Alternate Law in ELAC with protection, and 2.2, Alternate Law in ELAC without protection. And 2.3 alternate law in SEC and 2.4 direct law, 2.5 mechanical backup, and 2.6 pitch law uh, reconfiguration. All right, okay, so let's the first one pitch control normal operation. But as you can see, the diagram right here is the trim wheel, it's directly go to the uh, THS compartment, right? So, yeah, you can see flight management guidance computer, uh, ELAC, uh, elevator clearance computers. They have two, one and two, and six spoil elevator computers, one and two. Here is the side sticks, right? Okay, so the purpose of this section is to enable you to describe the normal pitch control operation. All right, so the first one, 1.1, 1 .1, let's see the side sticks. Side sticks, you can see uh, in the previous videos also, I mentioned how the side stick operated. All right, okay. Uh, and also, I described uh, what are the parts inside the side stick. All right, okay. The side stick send electrical orders to elevator adherence computer and spoiler elevator computer. Remember, the side stick. The, uh, the side stick sends electrical orders. You can see from the amber color, electrical orders to ELAC and uh, SEC. All right, that's the reason thing they measure. All right, next one, ELAC. ELAC means elevator aileron computer, right? So you can see they have two ELACs, ELAC one, ELAC two, right? So there are two ELACs, yeah. Uh, this is the actual picture. You can see elevator aileron computer two, right? Uh, you can see they have two ELACs, uh, the avion, uh, rear avionic compartment all right so elac 2 normally control the elevators and trimmable horizontal stabilizer with elac 1 as a backup normally elac 2 right elac 2 normally controls the elevators okay elevators and also trimmable horizontal stabilizer with elac 1 as a backup okay one time they use only one computer don't misunderstand they don't use two computers in one time just only one computer at one time so in case of elac 2 failure but right? in case of elac 2 failure elac 1 automatically takes off remember it right? in case of elac 2 is fair then automatically is transferred to elac 1 all right okay next one spoiler elevator computer spoiler elevator computer here they are uh, the uh, spoiler elevator computer they also have two spoiler elevator computers all right so uh, it is also like you can see amber is control elevators and uh 
THS, okay, to a horizontal stabilizer. So it is secured in the rayavionic compartment, as same as a Hida. See, a uh, spoil elevator computers, they have two computers, right? So in case of dual ELAC failure, uh, in case of dual ELAC failure, in case of dual ELAC failure, SEC 1 or 2 automatically takes off the pitch control, right? So in the first lesson, I uh, first uh, uh, this in this section I told you in K uh, first uh, initially they take over elect two if elect two fail it's uh, automatically transferred to elect one and if both elect one and elect two both fail then it's automatically transferred to sec right the pitch control automatically transfer to sec next one flight management guidance computer flight management guidance computer yeah here is the flight management guidance computer it is also situated in the rear avion you can see FMGC1. So when autopilot is engaged, right? When autopilot is engaged, flight management and guidance computer sends autopilot commands to ELAX. Okay, remember when autopilot is engaged, flight management and guidance computer sends autopilot command to ELAX. Alright. Okay. So the next one, elevators. Yeah, sorry, uh, you can see, right, Fly, uh, FMGC, uh, Flight Management Guidance Computer, they have two computers, Flight Management Guidance Computer 1 and 2. Uh, these computers working only when autopilot is engaged, right? When autopilot is engaged, autopilot's commands will send to uh, ELAC 1, ELAC 2, or ELAC number 1. Okay, you can see this one. Okay, next one, elevators. Elevators, you can see these are the two elevators, right? So each elevator is powered by two actuators. Okay, you can see they have two actuators, right? So each elevator is powered by two actuators, one in active mode, okay, one in active mode, and the other one is damping mode, okay, with automatic changeover in case of failure. And next one, both actuators become active, both actuators uh, become active in case of large pitch demand means if you want to apply very large pitch okay so then in this case both actuators are active right if not normally one actuator is active another one is in uh, uh damping mode all right next one the green and yellow actuators are controlled by elac 2 uh, this is also important you remember green and yellow normally the green actuators in the left side yellow actuators in the right side so green and yellow actuators are controlled by elect number two and the blue actuators blue actuators are controlled by elect number one all right next one th streamable horizontal stabilizer streamable horizontal stabilizer here okay okay you can see this one so here is the actual right so the mechanical input is come from the mechanical input uh, yeah mechanical input and then this one is a electric economic electronic control module here and THS, this is the whole unit is THX and THX, and this one is uh, electric trim motor over there, right? Okay, so uh, trimable horizontal stabilizers positioned by a screw actuator driven by two hydraulic motors which are controlled by one of three electric motors, all right? So one electrical motor is operative at a time, remember? the three electrical motors not operative at one time only one electric motor is operated at one time and the other are other two are standby motor right so motor one is controlled by electro remember motor one okay you can see motor one is controlled by elect number two and motor two is controlled by elect number one and sec number one and motor three is controlled by sec number Two. All right, so this is designed for failure. Uh, if there's a failure, you can. Uh, before I told you, right, in, if elect number two fails, it's automatically transferred to elect number one. And if elect number one is failed, it means both elect fails is transferred to set, set computers, right? In case of in set one, set two, and set two is fail, and then set one. Okay, you can see this way, right? Motor one is controlled by elect number two, and motor two is controlled by elect number one and set number one. And if motor two i mean uh, if motor three is controlled by sec number two all right okay next one trim wheels right here is the trim wheel and this is uh, the actual wheel this is the cockpit right so the mechanical trim which has priority over the electrical trim remember mechanical trim which has priority over the electrical trim and it is operated from the manual trim wheels remember this is the manual trim wheels it is operated from the 
yeah, it is operated from the manual trim as you can see uh, the mechanical trim is directly go to the uh, actuator the ths uh, actuator hydraulic two motors over there right three motors over there right sorry uh, two motors uh, no three motors over there okay i, I described about this you can see uh, three electrical motors over there and two actuate uh, two actuators okay yellow and green all right next one okay now we'll go to the uh, second one uh, pitch control abnormal operation pitch control abnormal operation okay all right so uh, the purpose of this section right the purpose of this section is to enable you to describe in detail the abnormal pitch control operation starting from the normal configuration all right okay so uh, the special uh, words you can know like elevator elevator computer elac and spoil elevator computer sec and flight management and guidance computer fmgc and air data initial reference system adirs okay in right okay let's go to the first one 2.1 alternate low in elac with protection okay you can see right so if the normal low if the normal low the elac 2 fails elac 2 fails the control passes to elac 1 and if in the normal law both elac fails the alternate law alternate law takes off you remember in normal law normal law both elac fails the alternate law takes off the failures leading to an activation of the alternate law with stability augmentations are shown below okay you remember if elac 2 fails it automatically transfer to elac number 1 and if both elec fails are then alternate law takes over okay right so uh, the alternate law with reduced protections load factor and stability augmentation is active in elec 1 or 2 if double self detected air data reference adr you can see adr or initial reference system it means adirs uh, both together we call as adirs initial reference or second not self-detected adr failure angle of attacks or double hydraulic failure double hydraulic failure blue and green uh, so blue and green or uh, yellow and green or loss of normal uh, normal low, loss of roll normal low and alternate low active in elect one with emergency electrical supply okay uh, emergency at this moment the emergency generator is running okay you can see the uh, picture all right next one uh, alternate law without protection alternate law in without protection depending on the failure the pitch channel can switch into an alternate law without protection okay uh, right so alternate law without protection stability augmentation lost right alternate law without protection stability augmentation lost load factor protection retained is active in elac 1 or 2 if second not select uh, not uh, self detected by the adr failure uh, like calculated it is calculated according to the air speed or mac disagree or uh, triple air data reference failure right triple triple air data reference failure all right so the next one uh, alternate law in sec Right, alternate law in sec here is the sec, right? So after double elect failure, if the double elect failure, alternate law with or without stability augmentation becomes active into sec, right? Remember, if double elect failure, alternate law with or without stability augmentations becomes active into sec. Okay, spoiler elevator computers. Okay, next one is direct law, right? Direct law, if the alternate law is lost, if the alternate law is lost the direct law computed in elac 1 or 2 becomes active so pitch direct laws active if double initial reference failure you can see the double initial reference failure or second not self detected or a triple initial reference failure or failure of the radio altimeters when uh, landing gear extended all right so the auto trim is lost and crew has to use the mechanical trim. remember if auto trim is lost right auto trim is lost and then the crew has to use the mechanical trim to control the uh, THS all right now uh, in case of loss of both elac remember in case of loss of both elacs the alternate law is already lost it means in case of uh, loss of both elacs and also the alternate law is already lost 
the direct law computer to in set one or two becomes active all right just remember this one all right so now the mechanical backup uh, mechanical backup so in case of total electrical fail in case of total electrical failure or loss of all computers which control can be achieved by the mechanical trim system right it means all electrical failures there's no electrical uh, or, or else the computer all computers are failure at this time uh, we can achieve by the mechanical trim system so the mechanical backup by trim wheels if active sorry the mechanical backup by trim wheels active if all computers lost or total uh, electrical failure and the four elevator actually design centering mode. remember the four elevator actuators you can see there are four right one two blue actuators and one green and one yellow so the four elevator actuators are in the centering mode all right next one the pitch law reconfigurations as a diagram this diagram explains the pitch law reconfigurations okay let's i just read you can see right the pitch normal pitch normal law so if the pitch normal law is goes the double second not self detected adr failure uh, or MAC disagree uh, or triple ADR failure and then it is moved to the pitch alternate law without protection and in pitch normal law double self detected ADR or IR failure or double second not self detected ADR failure alpha it means angle of attacks detect me double elect failure double hydraulic failure it means blue or green blue plus green or yellow plus green actuators failure so loss of roll normal low due to a double aileron failure or loss of all spoilers and ths jam double uh, slat flap control computer slat channel failure or double fact uh, flight augmentation computer failure and emergency electrical supply in this if this things happen then it's go to the pitch alternate law with reduced protection right so in this system right pitch alternate law without protection are this then uh, the crew action identification of the failed adr okay here yeah, it means crew has to make an action and in the pitch normal law you can see the double second not self detected in ir failures so in this then uh, pitch direct law is come or else the second option the triple ir failure failures of the radio altimeter when landing gear is accelerated and this same also pitch uh, direct loss comes and this time and uh, if the pitch direct law is come also the crew action must be there uh, crew action identification of failed ir and electricity that is go to the pitch alternate with radius protection all right okay yeah uh, that is the end of this lesson all right so uh, thank you for watching uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and uh, the next lesson i'm going to uh, describe i'm going to teach you about uh, elevator server control operation so stick with the kvision engineer youtube channel um, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share uh, these videos and also uh, if you have a friend who wants to learn about aircraft maintenance and if you have a friend who want to uh, do the job as a maintenance technician or engineer uh please share these videos with them and this will be very important for them all right so uh, uh thank you again for participating in this lesson and we will meet you on next video have a great day for all of you